Hi loves, it's your girl Shanta, how are you? And welcome to Shanda Says. Today is Monday, and if you're a fan of Shanda Says, you know on Mondays I like to discuss empowerment and inspiration. Now being that I haven't been here, I haven't been here for like two weeks. No, I think it's been longer, don't tell anybody. Uh, I thought it would be fun to catch up on some pop culture. Now... Quite a bit of stuff has been going on since I was here. And I wanted to talk a little about Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. And I want to talk about The Housewives. But first, y'all know which one I'm going to start with, right? We got to talk about this sex tape. Did any of you see the trailer for Mimi and Nico's sex tape? I saw it. I saw it on World Star Hip Hop. And I won't lie, I replayed that bad boy like four or five times because the first time is the shock value you're sitting there like what just happened then you look at it again and then again and again <laughs> not to mention all the craziness that goes down on instagram you know how they you know the shower rod um the little funny things they say about all of it but i just wanted you guys take on how you felt about her doing this sex tape how did you feel do you feel She's trying to have a come up like Kim K. And what are your feelings about it? Some people are just like, you know, you're grown. You do what you want to do, whatever. But I'm going to say this. You guys know I'm very open-minded sexually. And I, I'm definitely not a person to critique too much. I offer my opinion and what I have to say about it as a woman. Um... I think in the privacy of your own, of your bedroom, when you are a certain way with a man, you sucking him, you swallowing him, you doing whatever you wish to do with him, I'm like, that's what I do. I'm game. I'll do anything. But when you open that door and other people are allowed to come in, then you're open to judgment and you're open to people making comments and criticisms and whatever else. So my feeling was... Because she's a mom, I just felt some kind of way. And I tell you why. Because I think as a mom, you have to think about the choices you make affect your children. And, you know, I'm all for women doing things that empower them and make them feel beautiful. Um, but I think when you have a small child like that, you have to be cognizant. You have to be aware. And um, my first thought was, and I'm in being in mommy mode is now how do you deal with your your kids teachers and how do you deal with the other parents and how do you deal with going to school functions and you know how do you deal with just going out and about and people consistently judging you no one's saying anything about Nico because he's a man and you know there's a double standard and society holds us women to a higher standard they expect us to behave like a lady all the time and when you come out of that you know you're, you're open to heavy criticism, and it is what it is. And whatever you got paid, you know, I do hope it was worth it. I hope it was worth it. Now, I'll be honest with you. Um, my, my sister, her first thing was like, Nico is getting it in. So, you know, when I was looking at the tape and looking at him, I was like, Okay, I could see this dick done drove her crazy. And and she wants everybody in on how great he is because Nico was going in. Nico got all us women going, Nico, 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 Nico. <laughs> Me and my sister have been around the house going, Nico, 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 Nico. Which is probably what Mimi's doing. <laughs> But anyway, um, you guys have to chime in and let me know what you feel about it. Do you feel she should have done it? Do you feel she sh why not? You know, you're grown. You do what you want to do. How do you feel about it? Okay, enough about Nico. Oh, the Housewives of Atlanta. Did you see the reunion? Yeah, that was something. You know, prior to the reunion... Bravo, Andy did this thing with Nene where he was talking to her, interviewing her. And when she threw Cynthia under the bus that they're no longer friends, they don't communicate and all this. You know, all I could think about is, wow, Nene, let's start from the beginning. You don't talk to Kim. 
You don't talk to Sheree. You don't talk to Dwight. You don't talk to Marlo. The uh, first season, Phaedra came, you couldn't stand her. You don't talk to Cynthia. You don't talk to Kenya. You wasn't talking to your husband until he came begging, coming back, crawling back. Everybody's wrong. Everybody's wrong. I don't know. I don't know. Fame comes with so much garbage other than money. And, um, you know, I, whatever the reason her and Cynthia are not speaking, to me it was shocking because all I've ever seen is Cynthia be a supportive person to her. Actually, I felt Cynthia should have had a stronger personality with her because for you to be crazy enough to think you could call my husband a bitch was when I would have came across that fucking table. Y'all excuse me because this is my other twin talking and I would have beat that bitch's ass down because don't nobody talk crazy about my man but me. That is one thing about me. When I have a man, husband, whatever, whatever I call him, whatever's between me and him, but another woman thinks she could come out of her mouth and talk crazy to my man, it's over. It's over. So let me go back to the night, Shonda. Okay, so let's talk Kenya and Portia. Mm, let me get a sip of my tea for this. Now, y'all gonna get mad at me because I love me some Kenya. I'm gonna tell you why. I loved Kenya since she was the beauty queen. And I'm a Kenya fan. And I know she could be a mess. But I never go with a popular vote. Um, I don't like when she's mean, but I think she's a hurt person sometime. And I think, um, I, I don't want to make excuses for an adult, but I think that Portia, um, there's just something about her that rubs me wrong. I don't know why. And again, I hate, this is what I hate about reality shows is because, ooh, ooh, I'm sorry, babies, is that you, you only know what is shown to you. So it's hard to judge a person on you know, editing and what is shown to you. So for that, you know, but from what I've seen, you know, I, I don't like the fact that she's calling women my age old. I have a problem with that. I am over 40. I have a problem with her calling me old. That's number one. Number two is I have a problem with you thinking the Underground Railroad was real. Like, you really thought there was railroads taking slaves from the South to the North. Like, that that bothers me. That's just like, that's a person that doesn't question or investigate or learn. Like, what is wrong with you? Um, but I don't want to nitpick about her because there are things about her that I love. I love that she rode with her no good husband and, you know, he did what he did to her was wrong. So, you know, I guess it's hard to really choose sides because, again, we only know what is shown to us. And we make judgments based on a, a person's edit. You know, I've been on TV. I know how they do things. So, um, but I really want you guys' opinion. How do you feel about the fight? You know, one thing a smart woman knows is to win with her brain and her mouth. Um, your anger can put you in a position of vulnerability, which is what happened with Portia. Because she may lose her job. She may lose her job because of the fight. You know, I don't know. Um, I think it would be foolish to let either one of them go because now we have even more juice to go with these stories. And basically, that's all this reality TV is. It's just real live soap operas. We are just, you know, I don't think all of it is always very true, you know. But regardless of the complaints, regardless of whatever, we are drawn to it. It's water cooler TV. We watch it. And we all have an opinion about it. And that's why these shows will probably go nowhere. So, guys, write in. Let me know what you think. What do you think about Nico? Nico, Nico, Nico. Oh, my God, Nico. You're bad. You're bad, Nini. You're bad. I meant both Nicos. Nini's. <laughs> I love you guys. Follow me on Instagram under Shonda Says. Email me, ShondaSays1 at gmail.com if you have a question. You can also video me a question. I will answer you. And you can follow me on Twitter at Shonda Says. I got to get my Twitter game back up. I haven't been on Twitter the way that I'm supposed to be. So I have to get back into my Twitter 
And um, again, my book comes out in June. I will be doing a book tour, book signings. I will have a, um, a lot of opportunities to get to meet a lot of you guys that I don't didn't have the opportunity to do before. So I'm looking forward to it. And um, we'll talk soon. I'll be back here for the pink room. Mm. Maybe we should talk video. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll talk about videos. Yeah, that'll be fun. I love you. Give me kisses. Bye, babies.